I did find aphids because I always can find aphids. In the field across the way over there, the earliest planted fields here, Paul does not seed treat. So this is a good place to come and look for aphids. And then, you know, plants that were that tall with a nice juicy leaf on, on the top. There were, I mean, we're not talking tons of aphids, but if you crawl on the ground and look like I do, you could find some aphids there. So they're there. So uh, when we're putting our fungicide on, we should, uh, or we are doing this now, we throw in the uh, bathroid. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had the experience a couple years ago, we saw a few cereal leaf beetles, so we put it in. Later on, armyworm was an issue, and we didn't have armyworm, and the neighbors did. Well, that's because you had armyworm in your field and you actually killed them, but if you, and that was a legitimate use, if you were, you know, if you'd been scouting and you saw armyworm was there and you need to control, you know, that's, a legitimate use but then there's a lot of use where it's just being done regardless of knowing kind of what's out there and if if one person's doing it that's not a big deal but when everybody is starting to do it it's like a landscape effect and that's just the downside uh, whether it's good or bad and I can make a judgment well it's bad from the entomology standpoint but just to make you aware that people are asking why are we getting more of this and this and this well I think it's because we're using a lot more insecticide where we didn't before you know, we, we were too cheap to use the insecticide or the crop, the price wasn't enough or you weren't going over the field before with fungicide, so you had no reason to go out there. Now that we are, the, the hidden cost of that is to, bi is to biological control. That's just what happens. Any other questions? Nothing? Nothing you want to talk about? Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that originate from a storing process, or is that actually coming from the field as well? So you're talking about like gr like grain weevil. Yes. So the so the so the question is, where do grain weevils come from? Mm -hmm. Older literature, if you were if you were in Oklahoma, your grain weevils are in the bin, but they're also probably out outside. If you look at older literature, it implies that in the north, I think we're the north, that those insects are in the bin and not surviving outside of the bin. But I would think that as we're getting war as we're warming and winters have not been that hard, I could imagine that we have infestations around and within. That, that said, if you have a very, if you really around your bin do a good job of cleanup, you don't have spilled grain around, I mean, you keep things very clean. You shouldn't really have, and you keep your equipment clean, the augers and everything, you should be pretty good. And if you, you know, clean your bins routinely, take up the floor every now and then, if you've ever done that, and you look at what's under the floor, you just can't believe, that those kind of, being tidy and sanitation goes a long way to reducing any kind of insect problem. So whether it was from within or out, I mean, I've been in bins where I probably shouldn't have been in it, the top was open all the time because there was no door. So it was just the stinkiest, moldiest, and, that, and that there was gonna be new something put over top that. So those kind of things, always trying to not put good new stuff over some old stuff that's been there, just th thinking a little bit can go a long way. So it's really all sanitation. And, and I would guess that as we get a little warmer, those kind of grain issues that we have not had are going to are going to start to become an issue. We'll be more like Kentucky instead of, you know, being able to just use cold air to, you know, kill our insects in the in the winter. That's that's a good question. Yeah. What kind of products are available to use in store grain for weevil? And not that many anymore. There are products that you can spray on augers and in wagons and in the bin, and you have to be careful because those aren't the same, or in rail cars or whatever. That isn't what you can necessarily put on, on grain. So the best thing to do is to try to have as much sanitation as possible before the grain's going into the bin, you know, run things over some screens, get out those little particles. Insects like the little particles. You know, it, grain weevils can damage a whole gr piece of grain, but a lot of those other saw sawtooth grain beetle, they want little particulate stuff. That, that's what they're really looking for. So, you know, the better conditioned grain that can go in and uh, that kind of thing.